Okay, so there was a little bit of disappointment yesterday when we let the Costa Rican Cup slip through our fingers. But we have a chance of picking up our second trophy of the year today because we've qualified for the grand final of the opening stage of the Primera División. Well, at least that's the plan. Welcome back, everyone, to episode number 55 of The American Dream. I am Mr. Cellophane. If you have enjoyed the series so far, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, please, and thank you. By virtue of our first place finish in the regular portion of the opening stage, man, is this complicated. We have not only qualified for the semifinals, where we matched up against Santos, as you see on your screen, but we also have already qualified for the grand final. So really what happens in the semifinal is superfluous. We're playing for the championship one way or the other. And we did take care of business on the road. Even though Santos scored first, we managed to grab a brace from Willem Getz, his fourth and fifth goals of the season. Edward Lopez would put us ahead 3-1 before Joseph Gamboa brought Santos back within one. We did lose Nassim Nascenti at the very last moment of this match and unfortunately he won't be available for another two or three weeks luckily for us we wouldn't need him we did trade penalties with santos in the first half anthony sinclair scoring one as the von cordero scoring one for us to make it 1-1 at the break but then diego Moreira would score Sinclair would score again to even the match at two, but remember, we were already up one on aggregate, but Andre Castro would add the nail to the coffin in the 76th minute. 3-2 on the night, 6-4 on aggregate, and once again, we move on. So while I'd like to think that I know what's going to happen next, I would be lying if I said that I did. We're taking on Liberia in the final. If we win, as we discovered at the end of last season... We will be crowned as champions. What happens, though, if we lose? Is Liberia the champions, or do we just play them again in the grand final? Hopefully, we don't find out. Because we all know the goal is to just win it all right here, right now. Mohamed Kante is going to get the starting goal. Our back four will consist of Daniel Herrera, Freddy Gonzalez, Randy Duarte, and Hugo Cordero. Steven Aquista and Andre Castro, who scored in the last match, will man the midfield. It's going to be Diego Moreira at the 10. Vitan Tusha on the left wing. Vilm Getz on the right. And Edward Lopez once again in front of them all as our striker. Liberia, even though they took a wobble toward the end of the season, have to be feeling pretty good them, about themselves. Knocking off Herediano, which we were kind of hoping to do, but say la vie. They're coming into this match with a chip on their shoulder because we have treated them very poorly so far this year. So I'm sure revenge will be on their minds as they send it forward and look to control it. Delgado, back for Cortez, who got this whole thing going. Pilati, moving it around the middle third before dropping it back to Delgado. Pilati getting it again. Flipping it forward, but it's going to go too far for everyone, and Conte will control. So, Saprisa, hoping to start the attack going the other way. Castro to Lopez. Marrera tries to get around one man. Lopez taken down, edge of the box. The spot is indicated and an early chance for Saprisa. 12 minutes in from the penalty spot and it will be Diego Moreira. And he's able to power it past Ruiz, picking up his 15th goal of the season to give Saprisa the one nil lead. It is a two-legged affair, so we can't get overly excited about an early lead. Tusha, to Castro with Saprisa on the attack again. Aquista will pick it back up. Lays it off for Hugo Cordero, taking it deep into the middle. Marrera will be blocked. Clearance is successful, but Duarte getting it back before just sending it in. Zacharia dispossessed by Gonzalez. He's in there in place of Innocente. Well, he would have been in there anyway. It was actually Duarte in for Innocente, but you know what I mean. On the counterattack, Saprisa moving it forward. Fed wide right for Getz. Gets around one man, pushes it into the middle. Marrera across Aquista, up for Tusha, heading it forward. He's got Edward Lopez. Does the flag remain down? If it does, that's his 13th goal of the year, but it does not. Delgado looking to restart. Pilati playing it into the middle. Gonzalez intercepts. Lopez starting the counterattack. Wide for Tusha. He's got to go get that one. 
playing it into the box. Montero will clear it, and here it goes. Liberia the other way. Munoz dribbling it forward, gets past one man, trying to beat another. Oh, but Stefan Aquista coming back and making a beautiful defensive play. He'll hand it off to Gonzalez, and once again, Saprisa in control. Ball thrown forward, into open space. Tusha is under it on the left wing, carrying it into the edge of the box. Flipping it back post, finds Edward Lopez, who finds the back of the net for the 14th time this year. It's Saprisa 2, Liberia nil. So something very interesting as the replay was going, saying that this would be 22 matches in a row without defeat. That is highly possible, now that I think about it. Here in the opening stage, Marrera sending it wide up the left uh, the right wing excuse me gets dropping it back Andre Castro moving forward and scoring his third of the season and Saprisa is running away with it it's 3-0 a free kick though in a dangerous position Liberia trying to get one back 30 minutes in and it was a valiant effort but ultimately unsuccessful Akista playing it ahead he's got Marrera just a couple of minutes later laid off to the left Tusha Taken away by Aguilera. Jimenez will send it long. One back. Tusha once again in control. About 25 yards out. He'll take a drive just inside the box. And he'll miss everything. No further action in the final couple of minutes of that first half. Saprisa with a masterful first 45. 13-3. Your shots on goal. 3-0 though on the scoreboard. Nothing but sunshine roses and lollipops in the locker room. Hoping to keep the pressure on Liberia. Remember, if we win this two-legged tie, we don't have to play the grand final. And it will give us a bit of extra rest as we head into the closing stage and the CONCACAF Champions Cup, which begins in February. Extra quiet second half, so we are going to get some fresh legs out there as William Ramirez will come in in place of Diego Moreira. Andre Castro will come out for Alejandro Brand and Hugo Cordero with a bit of a knock. So Herrera will flip on over to the right side. And Michael Sam Bataro will take his place as our left back with just over 15 minutes remaining to go. Corner opportunity, Villa Lobos. Duarte looks to head it away. Can't, but the return ball is popped up over the goal. No harm, no foul. Although... 4-0, your shots on goal. Make that 5 for Liberia in this second half. So the tables have turned a little bit, but the scoreboard hasn't changed. The three minutes added on to the second half come and go. And without really breaking a sweat, Saprisa wins 3-0 in the first leg. We're heading to Liberia for the second. If we can hang on, if well, if we win the match, it's all over. If we manage to not lose by more than three goals, we will once again lift that trophy. A couple of changes being necessitated for this second leg against Liberia on the road. An injury to Hugo Cordero is going to preclude him from taking part in this match. So Daniel Herrera will slide over as our right back. Michael Sambataro is going to come in in his spot on the left-hand side. Also a change. At right wing, Willem Getz getting a rest. Jose Pablo Espinosa of the monstrous and gorgeous Mohawk getting the start. He'll be joined by Lopez, Tusha, Moreira, Aquista, Castro, Gonzalez, Duarte, and Conte in goal. A win today and our lives become a whole heck of a lot easier as we wrap up the opening stage of the Primera División. If we win, we avoid the grand final and we lift the trophy today and really who doesn't want to lift the trophy but Liberia is thinking that they're going to have some say about that as they have the throw in play it into the box but Arce's shot handled easily by Conte first salvo of the match opened up three minutes in Conte will launch it long no purple jerseys in the area so it's settled down by Cisse he'll play it back for Martinez Liberia controlling the ball for the majority of this first three minutes and change of this game, taking advantage of their home field. Fernandez playing it forward. Siqueria outside of the box will lay it off for Villa Lobos into the middle. It'll be poked home by Kevin Arce. Just standing there is Conte, and it's 1 0. Yeah, that ball made its way through one, two, three defenders plus a goalkeeper and still found its way onto the boot of a Liberia player. 
One nil your score, but off of the ensuing kickoff, looking to get one back. Flipped forward, Castro in control along the byline. He'll play it back. Herrera chipping it into the middle, headed away. Batusha settles it down, shoots it, hits it off the post. Clearance dealt by Sam Bataro. And Espinoza now with a corner kick, sending it in, headed on Ruiz. A masterful save, and the ball cleared out. 1 0 your score on the night, 3 1 on aggregate. Villa Lobos, his corner unsuccessful. Nice job by Tusha clearing it away. But Sicaria back to get it. Chacon out wide for Villa Lobos. Looking back post for Arce, and his header's going to be a bit too strong. Arce going for his second goal of the match. Well, if he gets it, he ain't getting it there. Nearly 15 minutes in, though. Liberia still trying to take it to us. Petusha with the interception. Marrera controlling it in the middle third. Out wide on the right, Espinosa. He'll hold up play before dropping it back. Andre Castro into the middle. Aquista. Nice ball over to Lopez, but Ruiz able to make... A very easy save on that one. Really not a lot going on so far in this first half for Saprisa. Hoping to change that here. Ball thrown in. Tusha in control. He's got a man in front of him, but he will just drill it from range. But he could not find the target. Arce in control. Out wide. Rodriguez looking to make a move on Daniel Herrera. He does. Rodriguez has about... Six, seven inches on him. Into the middle. Chacon driving it and missing it wide. Almost thought for a second the first half was going to end with no further activity. And then like 20 seconds pass in game. And Liberia coming again. Arce looking for that second one once again. But clattering it off of the crossbar. Tusha looking to go the other way. Castro quickly ahead. Samba Taro. Tusha. His initial pass is blocked. He gets it back. Dispossessed. Castro with the loose ball. Marrera out for Tusha. Has some space up that left wing. Taken away again by Villa Lobos. Tusha trying to do everything himself. Son, you don't have to. We have a two-goal lead on aggregate. Not doing well with that corner, but Tusha in control. Swept away. Marrera picks it up. Drops it back for Castro. You got to go backwards to go forwards. Marrera. Herrera. Looking for Lopez, can't get his head on it, and Liberia able to clear. Secaria carrying it up that right wing. Tries to dance around his man, and he does. Secaria. How about a second one? Nope, still able to get a free to Fernandez. Secaria, Fernandez, Aguilera. Picked off by Herrera. Here they go the other way. Saprisa, Espinosa throwing it forward. Lopez, was he on side? He's behind the defense. He puts it past the goalkeeper, Ruiz. Is it his 15th goal of the year? No, the arm is up and it is offside. Well, at least we got some action and a little bit of positive momentum heading into the locker room after 45, but it is Liberia who has the 1-0 lead. But again, we still have a 3-1 aggregate lead. So not that we are, as I mentioned before, resting on our laurels, but... Hoping for the best that we can hang on. Marrera controlling it deep, playing it back. Rodriguez will wipe out his man and pick up the loose ball and look to go forward. Three on three developing. Fed for Arce. Gets past his defender. Duarte knocks it away, but they are going to call a penalty. And Liberia with a chance to pull within one. The old commentator's curse coming into play. I'm sitting here talking about how all we have to do is hang on and then that. I mean, we even brought Esteban Cordero in as striker at the half to try to kind of change up the luck. Villa Lobos, though, taking his chance to go ahead. Beautiful clearance by San Bataro. But Liberia recycles it quickly. Villa Lobos in, and he's going to score his first of the year. 3 0 Liberia. We're tied. Something about our defense and our midfield has just been terrible. So we are making adjustments. Alejandro Brand coming in. Aguilera pushing it back out wide. He's got Rodriguez. Picked off by Espinosa, but Rodriguez wins it back. Chacon, though, fluffing his lines. Conte making a beautiful save, putting it out behind. But Liberia still with the chance at a corner. 3-3 three, three is your aggregate score. Big save by Conte, and it's right onto the boot of Eduardo Fernandez. And just like that, Liberia is up 4 Nil on the night. This is a collapse of a proportion that we have never seen at Saprissa. Even in matches we've lost, it has never felt like this. 
trying to get one back. Marrera. And really, the odds were not ever in his favor. Brand trying to knock it away, but Liberia able to come free with it. Played forward. Arce. We are on the attack. We're trying to make something happen. Arce into the box. Easily getting through our lines. Conte having to come up huge again. And another corner kick opportunity for Liberia. This is our worst case scenario. What happens if we lose this match? Do we lose the title? Or do we just start over and do the grand finale? Grand finale? Grand final. 15 minutes remaining. We are going to demand more from our team. Herrera to throw it in. We get one back and we are back in this. We are tied. Aquista ahead. Alejandro Brand into the box. His shot will be dealt with by Ruiz. No, it went over everything. It looked like it was a save. I mean, the way that it was spinning, I just assumed that a save was made. A couple of minutes later, off of the goal kick. Once again, Saprisa in control. Akista moving it forward. Weak pass picked off by Rodriguez. At this point, I'm feeling like we don't deserve to actually win this match. I think the hubris that I felt, and I think this team felt, coming into this one was shocking and we are getting the come up and sweet deserve another terrible pass is this just an example of football manager going no we need to make this interesting y'all are gonna lose because right now we look god awful it's five nil so more changes are made we've got just over 10 minutes remaining in this match to come back now and get two Brand to Gomez, who just came in. His pass picked off by Martinez. I think I'm just going to sit back and watch the rest of this one because apparently nothing I do, no decisions I make, have an, a positive effect on this team right now, although we are going to berate them. That seems to work sometimes. Espinosa up for Tusha, now on the right wing side. Marrera in the middle, carrying it into the box. His shot will easily be handled by Ruiz. Great play by Marrera until, well, until the finish. Amud clearing it, stepping up San Bataro, but losing it right to Rodriguez, who will just lump it into the Saprisa end. Gonzalez back together, but he's kind of eh, lackadaisical about it. Nothing good about this Saprisa team in this match, and a completely different team than the one we saw at home in the first leg. Bring into this one a 3-0 lead. We now trail 5-3. Eight minutes left to right this situation. And I am just fearing that we are going to lose this. And they're going to just give the championship to Liberia. I guess we're going to find out though. Conte looking to get it restarted. Duarte just kind of taking his sweet old time. Laying it up softly to Espinosa. A bit of a heavy touch, but he gets to it. Tusha with some space. All right, Tusha cuts in between two men, puts a shot on, and once again, Ruiz makes an easy save. Ball lumped forward. Arce under it. Oh, he's got a chance. Sends in the middle. Espinosa. It goes off of the face of Sekaria. 6-0 on the night. 6-3 on aggregate. Can we get one back and save face? Marrera up the left wing. Ramirez gets it past his man. And William Ramirez, thank you very much for showing up. His fifth goal of the year. Now, if you look at most of the stats, you would think, wow, that was a pretty even game. 23 shots on goal to 22. 15 on target to 12. 53% possession for Saprisa. Look at the XG. 2.51, of which we scored one goal. Five. 0.194 Liberia. They scored six, and the six they scored were all pretty much guaranteed. Before I show you what I'm about to show you, I just want to take a little trip down memory lane of our season so far. Let's ignore the friendlies. We won the Super Copa. We lost one time in the league phase. Our only other losses came in the group stage of the Central American Cup, the quarterfinal, which unfortunately cost us against Olympia, who did win the competition, by the way, so I don't feel so bad, and the Copa Costa Rica final, which we lost 2-1, disappointing, and this one match. Pretty good year, you would say, right? 
Well, the board seemed to disagree because they would like to request a meeting to discuss our future. There is a very real possibility that we are no longer going to be managing Saprisa. We're, of course, going to attend the meeting, but we're not doing it today. You're going to have to come back tomorrow for that. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you just haven't done so already. I appreciate all of your support. Find out if we make it past today at Saprisa or if we need to kick off a new job search when we return tomorrow. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.